The reason this guy behind me has a job, the reason he's working is because of a stimulus check received here by the Amato Food Bank. And while the work he's doing right now has nothing to do with food, the end result means a lot of people here in Amato and Aravaca will not be going hungry. That's going to be an food Bank Director Mildred Lopez Feliciano proudly shows off the progress on the Amato Food Bank expansion and its new health clinic, all made possible by a $70,000 stimulus check. Yes, I am very happy about the stimulus money. <laughs> so it's putting people to work, but it's not only putting people to work, it's helping people here. It is helping people here in a rural area where there's nothing, no resources available. <laughs> Oops, I ruined my cupcake. Oh well. Sharon Hadley is taking advantage of one of the few rural resources, getting enough food on this day to feed a family of four for three days. But for her, she can stretch it out. So I'm set now for about two weeks. Okie dokie. Volunteers pack the shelves with new donations which came in today. The space inside is so small, the food bank uses its delivery truck for extra storage space. But by June, it will double its storage capacity. And it's needed because it serves 600 food boxes a month, a demand which shows no sign of slowing down. Six years ago when I first started here, it was between 120 to 230 families a month. So the need is it's really... huge. So a small stimulus check in a small town makes sure workers get a paycheck. Some will get badly needed health care. Thank you so much. And it will also make sure that more people get to eat. So this place is a blessing, it an absolute blessing. And when all is said and done here at the Amato Food Bank and they get ready to open their new addition, they'll be able to serve twice as many people as they can serve now. And while the folks here say that's good news, the sad state of affairs is the need itself has doubled. In Amato, I'm Bud Foster, KYD News 13, Live Local 8 Breaking.